Welcome back to America Trends. This segment is the fastest segment on television. We call it our Dr. Gina Rapid Fire Round, and we reserve it each evening to zip through the topics you say are trending. And we'd love to get your nominations for those. You can tweet us using the hashtag Dr. Gina. Joining us now, country music recording artist Jonathan Lee. Jonathan, thanks for being here. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. I've had the pleasure of uh, seeing you perform, and uh, really honored to have you on the show tonight. I want to start with uh, country music because it's something you know a little bit about. Uh, everyone talking about Taylor Swift's latest single, Look What You Made Me Do. It was released last week and it's taken her in a darker pop direction that many people online are calling contrived and saying it's a ripoff of Britney Spears. So Jonathan, I want you to weigh on, in on this. Where do you stand on the T-Swift debate? Have you heard the song? Oh, uh no, <laughs> I'm not 12. Uh, there is that. Listen, listen, Taylor Swift is going to do well because she's Taylor Swift. It doesn't matter. You could. It doesn't matter what she does. She's going to do well because that's what she, that's what the mainstream media wants. She's amazing. Um, Britney Spears did well and she has no talent at all. So. <laughs> And then you have that too, all right. Well, a viral story about an armed robbery gone bad is trending today. A man walked into an MMA training gym with a loaded gun intent on robbing the place and uh, he left in, in an ambulance. Um, did this guy not realize it might be a bad idea to walk in an MMA place to rob them? <laughs> he deserves everything he got. <laughs> I think it's pretty hilarious, actually, and I, and, I, and I hope to heck that he learns his lesson because Lord knows he's going to learn one in prison, so. Exactly. You know gonna, that. Yeah. All right. Well, we all remember the uh, clown craze that America went through not too long ago, and now police are warning people to watch out for another round of creepy clown sightings as if we need it with everything else going on out there. Uh, but the movement has been revamped and it hits theaters next weekend. I'm curious if you've been running into any creepy clowns anywhere. And if so, what do you do about it? I, oh no, to be honest, I've never seen a creepy clown except for the movie It when I think was eight years old. And to this day, I'm scared of the dark. So if I see one of those dang clowns, <laughs> I'm going I'm going to kill myself and him because they are the scariest things in the world. <laughs> yes, I mean, some people really are scared of clowns from their childhood. Are you one of those people? Well, not, not because of anything else, because of the, the movie It. That guy was Oh, because of the movie. I right, right. I have my ticket for next week. I can't wait. All right, well, there you go. All right, well, the season finale of Game of Thrones aired this week, leaving most of us in shambles as we wait for the next season. But... Fans of the show online were given a little glimmer of hope when they found out that the actor who plays Grey Worm is actually an indie hip-hop artist on the side. So are you a Game of Thrones fan, Jonathan? And have you been following Grey Worm's side project or not? I love Game of Thrones. Love it, love it, love it. And I have not been following Grey Worm's, but I was able to listen to his, uh, his newest single. That's not bad. I mean, for what it is, it's, I mean, I'm not one to really put down musicians, so... Go for it, Grey Worm. <laughs> there you go. All right, well, it's been a year of incredibly crazy fashion statements, and one of the more questionable fads, the uh, romper for men, <laughs> is called the romp him, and it's getting a makeover. Twitter is ablaze with pictures of the new styles that came out, including the charming floral design, and of course, there are the daring cactus prints. Um, so do you think that uh, these could be the future concert uniforms for you and your band? <laughs> I don't know if you can pay us enough to do it, but I, I would do it. I would do it just because I'd like to get my butt kicked. But the rest of the band definitely wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, we definitely get lots of attention and maybe make a few newspaper headlines and some of those pop magazines and whatever. So you never know. It might be worth a try. I will say last weekend or two weekends ago, I was in Washington, D.C., and I saw that the big trend in Washington, D.C. for men, at least in this particular area, uh, was a neon colored painted toenails. Do you want to try oh, that? Yeah. That's huge. I'll do it in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we want to see that. All right. Well, there's already a lot of buzz circling around about the upcoming Batman spinoff movie that highlights the origin of the infamous villain, the Joker. And now uh, there's news that Warner Brothers is 
courting Leonardo DiCaprio for the lead role as Joker. I have to tell you, I can kind of see that, like even without the side by side. I could kind of see it before. What do you think of it? How does he go from Jack and Titanic to that? Honestly, I think Leo is the best actor of our time. I think he can do anything he wants. He's, he's, he's like Jack Nicholson was in the 70s and 80s. I mean, Leo's got it, and I think he'll kill it. I, I can't wait. All right. Well, we all remember now when rock superstar Kid Rock announced that he was running for U.S. Senate a couple of months ago. But today, he's under fire for selling campaign merchandise without officially registering as a candidate, which is technically illegal. Being a music man yourself, do you think Kid Rock can sidestep this little obstacle and win a Senate seat? I think anything can be done with money, so yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if he can win a Senate seat. I honestly think that we need to maybe back off a little bit of uh, our, our heroes and maybe go with people that know what they're doing at this point. <laughs> Kid Rock might not be the best choice. All right, well, the big banks, they are at it again. Wells Fargo is in the middle of a firestorm right now as they announced that they discovered another million and a half fraudulent bank and credit card accounts. And uh, they're going to be issuing a million dollars in, or sorry, rather $3.7 million in uh, refunds. So I need to know, Jonathan, if you can't trust the banks, do you have a foolproof way to keep your money safe? I would buy as many albums of the Jonathan Lee band as you could. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like gold. Like gold. <laughs> So that's your advice. All right. I think it's Talk a good one. Mistress, we'll see if people yeah. want to shove those uh, albums under their mattresses and just hang on to them in case save of them. a... Don't open them. Don't even listen to them. Just save them. <laughs> just <laughs> invest in them. Yeah. All right. Well, it's Labor Day weekend. Jonathan, so happy Labor Day. And I have to ask you, are you planning on going out and celebrating this fine American holiday this weekend? Unfortunately, I work all the time. So I labor on Labor Day weekend. And then after the weekend, I plan on... I've got a... Uh, I got to work more. So no, I'm not <laughs> going to enjoy it. so this. much like my life. Like weekend off is about doing more work that I can't get exactly. done during the week. Yeah, I hear you. Exactly. <laughs> well, we'll hope that you get some performances in there. And uh, I bet you do a lot of that on the weekends. And everybody needs to take a chance to hear you. Jonathan Lee, country music artist. You can find him at thejonathanleeband.com and at Jonathan Lee Band on Twitter. Thanks for being with us. Up next, we go to your social media comments, reveal the results of your poll. Go vote right now. YouTubeAmerica.com. Back in a moment. But you seem real to me. Don't